The 2025 Hyundai Ioniq 6. We have some subtle new updates to talk about, but stay tuned until the end of this video where I'm gonna share with you how you can save $14,000 off the MSRP of a 2024 Ioniq 6. All right, let's get started with these changes. So for 2025, they have now added the heads up display to the top of the line limited trim level. And there's three trims to choose from. You have the base SE, the SEL in the middle, and the limited at the top. And we now get the heads up display with the limited. The only other change is the digital green paint job has now been removed. You can no longer get that color in 2025. And regarding your changes, that's pretty much it. But there is one more thing to keep in mind, and that is the price. The price of most trim levels has gone up by about $250 across the board. However, that's not really something to complain about because in 2024, Hyundai actually dropped the price of the Ioniq 6 by a little over $4,000. So we can forgive this subtle price increase, but something to note, the limited trim level goes up in price by $850 compared to 2024. Anyway, I personally recommend the SEL trim level. I think that's the best value proposition. And with destination, that's gonna set you back about $46,650. However, if you want to get all wheel drive, you have to add back in $3,500 $3,500 to the SEL price. So now you're pushing over 50 grand and it's up to you if that's worth it or not. Your range does go down to 270 miles if you get an all wheel drive SEL. If you stick with the rear wheel drive SEL, you will get 291 miles of range, but you do get more power as well. When you go with the all wheel drive, you will get 320 horsepower and 446 pounds feet of torque. When you stick with a rear wheel drive, you get 225 horsepower and 258 pounds feet of torque. So you're not just getting all wheel drive for that $3,500, you're also getting a substantial power bump as well. Again, it's up to you. But in typical Hyundai fashion, these vehicles, they do come well equipped. I mean, even a base model is gonna come with the useful safety tech features like blind spot monitoring, rear cross traffic alert, etc., and as standard, you're also going to get the large screens. You're gonna get the 12.3 inch digital gauge cluster combined with the 12.3 inch infotainment screen. However, you only get wired Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. There is no wireless CarPlay or Android Auto according to Hyundai spec sheets. So that's definitely a bummer, but you also get heated front seats as standard although they are gonna be cloth seats with the base SE. And there's like a lame standard battery pack base model with 149 horsepower and 258 pounds feet of torque. Definitely avoid that. That's the 53 kilowatt hour battery. With that same base model SE, you can step up to the 77.4 kilowatt hour battery pack with once again, that 225 horses and 258 pounds feet of torque. And when you get the larger battery, you naturally get the heat pump as well, which helps to heat and cool the cabin a bit more efficiently. But stepping up to the SEL trim level, which I recommend, you're gonna get even more safety tech features, and you're also going to get synthetic leather seats, ambient lighting, wireless phone charging pad, etc. And that way, with the SEL, you naturally get the larger battery pack, and then it's up to you if you wanna pay that additional 3,500 to get the all-wheel drive and more power. The limited trim, I mean, it's obviously nice. You get even more desirable features like a 360 camera, heated steering wheel, and an eight speaker Bose audio system. That's really fantastic. I really wish they would have made that Bose audio system at least an option with the SEL, but no, they really force you to get that limited trim. But standard, these vehicles, they come with a six speaker audio system. But regardless though, that's everything you need to know about the 2025 Hyundai Ioniq 6. As promised at the beginning of this video, here's how you can save about $14,000 off the MSRP of a 2024 Ioniq 6. You can reach out to Auto Companion, who is one of the largest car brokers in the United States. Him and his partner dealerships in the Washington DC area, they are offering between five to 6% off the MSRP of the Ioniq 6 but when you lease these vehicles, there is an additional $11,000 incentive that's gonna stack on top of Auto Companion's 
discount. And speaking of leasing, Auto Companion has a free leasing calculator, which I will have linked below. This is an extremely powerful tool because it shows you the interest rate of a lease, the residual values and the incentives that you can get in your local zip code. So be sure to check out this calculator because incentives always stack on top of the dealer discount. So on a $50,500 SEL all wheel drive Ionic 6 with 5.7% off MSRP, you're at $47,600. So about three grand off from Auto Companion. But when you lease these vehicles, you get that additional 11 grand. And if you qualify for military, you can get an additional $500, which stacks on top of all of this. And after running the numbers with no money down, assuming you have perfect credit, the payments are gonna be about $532 a month, which is not cool. I mean, I get it, this is a $50,000 vehicle, but still, EV leases, they should always be cheap, I personally think the lease on this should be closer to like $350 a month, but you can save even further because right now, September of 2024, the interest rate of this Ionic 6 lease is 2.45%. Leasing programs, interest rates, incentives, all of these things, they change every month, but Auto Companions Calculator will also update every month, so that is cool. And 2.45% is not bad for the interest, but if you have the cash and you can do a one pay lease, you can save even further on the interest. So without the one pay lease over the course of two years, you will be paying $12,600 for this Ionic 6. But if you can do a one pay lease and pay 11 grand up front, then you're saving more money on the interest, about 16 to $1,800 worth of interest. So that's cool if you have the cash and now your payments are gonna be closer to 450 a month or the equivalent to that over the course of two years, if that makes sense. But regardless, I just wanna share with you these resources so you are aware of what's possible in this market because everybody cries about the MSRPs of these electric vehicles, but the reality is you don't have to pay anywhere close to the MSRP. This $50,000 vehicle, you can get it for about 36 grand with all the discounts and incentives. And if you wanna work with Auto Companion, he is located in Washington, DC, but he can also ship these vehicles nationwide, but shipping is something you have to pay extra for. I've shipped two vehicles with Auto Companion and never had an issue. The process was always super smooth and super easy, and you don't have to deal with any of the dealership shenanigans and the manipulation tactics. You just chill in your house. They FedEx one day ship the papers to you, and then you just ship it back with their prepaid label. They look over it, make sure everything is good, and you're able to set up the shipping through Auto Companion, and that's it. But Auto Companion does charge a broker fee for his service, but for most of the vehicles that he has to offer, it's a thousand percent worth it. It saves you money and time. And he also has a new website called Drive Match, so you can check that out. He's got some deals over there on a couple of Hyundai vehicles like the Ionic 5, the Tucsons, and the Palisade. So all of this information I will have linked in the description box below. And if you use my affiliate link in that description box, Auto Companion will take some money off of his broker fee. So I really appreciate him doing that for my audience. And if you found value with this content, make sure to like and subscribe. Thank you again for watching. Take care and goodbye.